Oh, when we say rum pa pa pum, rum pa pa pa, rum pa pa pum when they get shut down. Now I am a criminal, criminal, criminal. Oh Lord have mercy, now I am a criminal man down. Then they came then the run no tattoo, none of them can see me now. Hey mama. <coughs> oh, that song good. Anyhow. <clears throat> Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Creator bringing you a brand new video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Swan. I'm a Trimbigonian artist from the island of Trinidad and Tobago, which is kind of self-explanatory. And I'm an artist that likes to draw dark skin, big thighs, big hips, ladies like me. Because we don't, I don't find enough of that around. Anyhow, recently I won a giveaway over on Instagram from Himi Mia company and this is what I got yay so apparently this is the acrylic era of swan crates so yeah let's see how it does so this is not all that I got I was too impatient to like wait to start up the video so I did an impromptu unboxing and here's that clip now Okay, we had fun so now we can like really get into it and from first impressions I like this box this is a nice box Trini people you know we like good boxes and here are the paints and I'm not going to lie to you if I saw this in a store I will walk right past it <laughs> I know it sounds bad but look how this looks Look how this looks. This looks really cheap, especially in the back. You could just peel this off. It's stuck on pretty good. But, oh wait, no, look, I could peel that off. So, I would not have bought this. But, after doing the swatches, where did I put the swatches? Let me find it. Alright. So, after doing the swatches, this looks very similar to, I'm going to find the other swatches, <laughs> to my Artestro paint. Because, look how that looks. 
and by the way guys if you want to see this video it will be up in the description card like there or there or wherever and look at it it was surprising but these two came out super watery this magenta and this purple was a water water in the tube hey yeah water similarly water i hate it cap lasco why do i know that in here <laughs> look look how it came out so i have high hopes that it will perform good but i really don't like the packaging <laughs> and one thing is when i took these out of the packaging i was super confused like what the heck is this this i went on like the so i went to the instagram to figure it out and it's, apparently it's something we could put water on but i'm like if i fill this with water how is it standing up and there picture it's standing up but i'm like oh if i fill it with water oh wait wait oh, oh. i did not notice this the last time so when it fills with water it will flatten out and it could stand up there all right i'm clumsy i'm a clumsy girl <laughs> And they give us two. One for. I love doing this. Like... Does that does that stir something in you? Okay, I'm back and it's filled with water and I already planned what I wanted to do this is either a past video or a video that's coming up and this is April for April month <laughs> rewards oh, wow so bright she wasn't supposed to be a meme but she ended up looking like a meme anyhow so I just did some circle designs to see which one I like best and I know I wanted a woman with flowers around her and this one is the winner. The first one I did. This one is also nice on this one but this one mm, speaks to me. So this is the design I'm going with and right now it's extra warm. The humidity is high so I'm putting on my fan. Sorry for the noises. So alright so let's get into it. Sorry for the fan again. And here we have the canvas. Ooh, ooh. And okay, I don't like that. I don't like that their logo. I don't know if you can see it, but their logo is stamped here. So I hope when you paint over it, this is noise. Real noise. I want to look at my nails are contrasted. Yes, I like how my nails look, okay? Don't hate me. To be or not to be. <laughs> but since I have so much to be pencils in my pencil case, I'll wait for this one and I'll work with the HP. And one thing, something about this just screen cigarette for me, like. <sighs> you get for nothing. What are you doing here, Tony? What are you doing here? Tony, I never want to see your face again. Your last, leave me alone, Daddy. Go away, go back to your heart. <laughs> oh, all time movies are the best, anyhow. So let's take out my sharpener. Oops. Oh, wait, that tape, I'm guessing empty it first because when I don't empty it, it builds up and then it's breaks the point. Almost, almost. Oh, hear that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I like this. I wonder what wood they use. It looks different from other woods I've seen. Okay. Oh. See? Look at this wood compared to this one. This looks more cherry, like if I know woods. <laughs> this looks like a more cherry wood. So I don't know if I could speak their language, maybe I don't know, but I don't, but 
look how pretty that wood is. Anyhow, I'm expression of the wood. And I should sketch. Wait, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> the last time I sketched something on a canvas, I remember when I put paint over it, it washed it away. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They make a mistake twice. All right, so that needs to be there until. And something's concerning me when I paint. When I go over it, it's like, oh, you see what I mean? Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. Anyway, paint keeps coming up, so hopefully when it dries, that won't be an issue. Okay, so still a little tacky on the Maya. You can see it. I don't like this. They're going to do it in the back. Gosh. So anyhow, it's a little tacky, but I find this is good for like one layer for the first layer so you uh, just sit and this seems like <laughs> no that's weird okay so for some reason the pencils I even sharpened the to be which I said I wasn't going to do isn't gliding across the thing properly so that ain't working so I'll pull out this one <laughs> Which is what? Acamelides. Take that grip out. That doesn't help me. And this one seems to go smooth around it. So, yep, this one seems to go smooth around it. Okay, guys. I give up. This pencil is not getting me anywhere. So, I've watched some portrait pictures. And I see that, I just want to pause this thing. And I see them sketching with paint. And since I am already mad at this, why not? <laughs> so here we have this UFO. They literally called it a UFO palette. Um, let's take a dark brown. I'm trying to remember, I need to write down the names of this. So let's go with the burnt umber and then let's go with I don't want I, I don't I don't want it you know what let's go with this link like, you know what I keep saying you know what I'm using this paint because right now I'm mad <laughs> so that one came out way easier than the other one Let's see how this would come out. Like, do I maybe need to put this on my easel as well? So let's go with the circle because I'm trying not to be a perfectionist, which is really hard for me. And I'm struggling with this paint. But then I realized when they do this, it's oils. I go down because she's like looking down. This is not an oil kind of situation. This is a critic. Alright, so the face shape look better, even though half of it is going to be covered in whatever those flowers are. Alright, so I did a sketch. Am I going to remember everything? No. Am I going to try? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay. So I came back and um, pray for me. So let's see what I could do with this now. All right. So I will use one of the pretty brushes. So let's just wing it and hope for the best. 
because I don't know how to paint skin. If you guys know any videos showing how to do dark skin, right now I'm like winging it. I'm like, oh, let's just pray for a miracle. Alright, so let's like put that there. <laughs> This is the cheek, uh, uh -huh. and here is skin tone. <laughs> Okay, so yes, I have a lollipop. <laughs> it's been some time, it's the same day, but I was procrastinating a lot. I even painted something totally different, <laughs> but we'll see that later on in the video. So, did I do too much? Yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to paint all the hair. At least paint all the main part of the hair. And then try to do the flowers. Because this is confusing for me. <laughs> so, this is just the main color. I'm trying not to think about small details because I like to go along with the details. I'm the type of person... I clean as I go, I wash my hands as I go, as soon as I finish make a mess, <clears throat> I clean it up, even if I'm bone tired, because I just can't, so this is me right now, like, I'm not adding in the details.
okay so this is where i'm at right now i'm gonna let it dry and hopefully some line art could save this or if not actually any colors though that says something right all right uh. all right so the paint has dried now and i'm looking how the edges come out too and let's see how the line art. i have to go with black line art because the dark other darker color is the brown and i used a lot of it in the hair and i don't like using black as line art but maybe if i mix it with the brown and with how this paint works right now i have to put like a lot of it if you could That's, I think the glue dried enough. Let's use this. You know, maybe having random gold flakes over the eye might be cool. I wish the thing could have been thinner. The glues could have been thinner. I don't kind of feel like just sprinkling. random glitter pieces all over you know so when I seal it it could just have these random gold pieces all over it <laughs> so when you move it you're like ooh sparkly can you see sparkle but yet when you look at it dead on you don't see it but when you go ooh sparkly <laughs> all right happy accident I guess now I have glitter everywhere even though I tried to avoid it <laughs> Let that fully dry. Yeah, let that fully dry and then I'll come back. As you can see, I spilled the glitter. So now I have glitter in my room for weeks now. So here we are at the end. Is this the best painting? No. Is it the worst painting? Also no. Did it come out way better than I thought it would? Hell yes, <laughs> especially considering the last painting I did that I hate and I was to redo it digitally. This one came out good and I like how you see here it has the green and when you go over to the side, it just, oh, I just love how this came up. I think I'm going to put this like on my shelf over my bed. It's just like look how good she I like it. I like the red paint and the whole canvas red in the beginning was stuff. And the beginning I said I didn't like the like canvas, but after a few paint on it was really good. I wonder what this is. Like they just say square or circle palette like like this on the page. Wait, let me see if I find this again. <laughs> Right, so here it is it says frosted palette rectangular so it's a frosted palette a frosted palette so there you go 
still i didn't expect to like this but it's called a ufo palette it's also nice and i'm not going to lie these paints were right they are right. they're okay the colors are vibrant and look how dark i got it so this oh mm, mm, mm. so this this is all right it's not the best i'm not gonna lie it joined together good but i must say i had more fun with the artistro paint than i did with this one i don't know why if you like if you had to use a lot of paint like how i had to use a lot in the red and the dark brown this is what the two is oh, the other one oh i didn't close it then no this is the other brown all right these are the main colors i use you can see how flat they are now compared to the full tube what was that okay compared to the full tube so there's that but art supplies are meant to be used and that's something i have to ting myself with because every time something gets little i stop using it because i'm like oh my god i'm gonna run out and then i'm not gonna have any so i need to get out of that but all in all i'm loving how this actually came out this doesn't seem like a girl it just seems like the idea of a girl and i am okay with that these don't seem like flowers they seem like the idea is a flower and i'm okay with that and this jacket came out way better than i thought it was it's not the best but it's not the worst and the sparkles how do you are you like enjoying the sparkles i can't wait to like seal this so i won't be afraid that things will just come out these were fun but i will not be using them that often because this is good like it won't take up space like i could just empty this out let it dry and leave it somewhere in my room for the next time but it was good having the two the shape of a cactus smart love that and my favorite thing out of this but i said it already is these brushes and these brushes were really good i just didn't want to sacrifice this one yet so i use the one from artistro <laughs> um it's like basically the same brush yeah it's basically the same brush but it's so pretty it's so pretty i couldn't I, could, I couldn't sacrifice it so i just had this one open already so i chose to use this one what else wait where's the paper like i found the acrylic tube the ufo palette loved it paint brushes love that desktop bucket which is these cactus thing good acrylic paint refill didn't use it because i still have white paint frosted palette this was really nice after i got used to it and because the paint build up the mia logo is gone which is maybe wait nope 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 you can nope you can still see it never mind it's still there yeah to angle to see it but it's still there <laughs> The, oh, I didn't see how the pencil work. All right, all right, that's in case I accidentally everything. So let's put you to the side for two seconds. So let's see how that goes. Ooh. It's dry. I've never said that about a pencil before, but it's dry. Okay, so that's the brush, the pencil. Just weird, it just feels dry. I never, I never thought of a pencil as being dry before. Let's see. This is my other HB pencil that I'd like to try today. Are all pencils dry? No, they sound different. <laughs> I make Bun Bun look like a rat, but I haven't drawn him in a while, so like. All right, then let's see. It, it's thing. So, yeah, the pencil is a pencil. <laughs> and if I really didn't want to open that, um, the eraser out of like open lips, but. 
<sighs> so I used everything except the eraser and I erased his eraser. So I like this, even the paints are okay. So if you're kind of this whole and this box was so fun, this box was so fun to open. So, like, this was good, but I would advise you to get a taste. But if you want everything at once, a taste, you just get the paints and paint brushes and a palette and stickers, stickers. Watch our video. So, and you get all of this. Wait, watch the price for everything. Everything, I forgot how much the price is. Wait, it's 29 something. Oh my gosh, guys, I just looked it up. Oh, this is off screen. This is $25.99 and their Tastro paint was $23. So now, if you have everything else, go for the Tastro one. It's good. But this, this for everything you got, it's $25.99. Like, look at that. And they even said you could get a square. Is that square to see? A frosted palette rectangle, but this one looks like a square. But anyhow, I got a circle, which I'm really happy with. The composition came out nice. And look at that! Look at all this stuff you get for twenty five ninety nine. This is like bang for your buck. But if you just want like better paints to paint with, go with the artist. <laughs> all right, so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and because it's no longer on my break that i'm recording this i can even tell you my patrons so i would like to thank my patrons me kathleen mcclock jennifer nix emily akoka bianca amber padea rose does art no this is weird danielle and introducing marie museum Museum. Seriously, do every time I get a new patron, do I have to like mess up their name? <laughs> Museum. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining Team Lovely. And I hope you guys will feel like joining my patron as well. Here's this much print. I Anyhow, if that's not it and it's this coming out in april this month's print is going to be about april i'll put up a picture here so if i haven't finished the this month print so yeah and i hope to see you over there join the community and then i would like to thank all my lovelies every single one of you thank you so much and all to all of you you guys watch my videos you guys make me motivated to actually continue i love you guys so much and i thank you and oh I should show you the things I was working with. So I have a new pop socket and I painted it, but mostly in the old, in the style I did with the Star Goddess. And I also got this frame and I didn't like what was in it. So I just painted my own stuff in it. And hang it up somewhere, I don't know where. And yeah, that's all I did. I still had to paint the stars for this one so yeah now this is it so make sure and do all the youtube things you know hit that like button subscribe tell your friends tell everyone you can even follow me all over the internet just don't follow me in real life all right so this outro has been really long-winded and thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end pop up this emoji if you made it this far and i guess i'll see you when i see you bye bye <laughs> bye Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey lovelies, today's video is brought to you by my nails. Woo. <laughs> no, it isn't, but it, it does look cute. Look, 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 look. Shiny. Looks like a Anyhow. Okay, yeah, you got it. YouTube, go, go YouTube, go pay a tree up. I think I talk. I think I talk today. <clears throat> You're getting messy, but I had to get messy. Messy, but messy, but. <laughs> you met me in my life. It's messy, but.
Oh, 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 yeah, I didn't know you were wet. <laughs> Never believed you could hurt 